I'm going to demonstrate Asana to go's new table interactive format and recap with a couple of slides at the end. This format is a flexible, interactive, tabular view of your tasks that offers nearly all the content of Asana's detail pane. It's the first Asana to go format designed for you to use interactively. The previous uh, Asana to go formats are mainly static and produce report like output. And I feel this format realizes the full potential of Asana to go by letting you quickly see and interact with any selection of tasks from your My Tasks, Projects, or Search Results, or any of a task's subtasks in a new, powerful view that extends and combines Asana's own list view and detail panes. And on to the demo. So we'll move over to a project here. I'm going to just have all the tasks selected here. Open Asana to go. And this is the new table interactive format. We just hit view and copy. And now these are the results. So we have a completed column. This is a new one, number of subtasks. You can hover to see a description. And this shows that the task is in one or maybe more projects if it's multi-homed. Custom field shows you all the tasks, custom field values, and then uh, assignment. And uh, this is the marked for. So here's uh, that it's new in the inbox or today, upcoming, and later. We can search or filter the rows uh, by any of the text that we're seeing here. So if I start to type in progress, you can see it'll match on just those fields take that away again. You can also use some special terms like we just saw inbox. That'll focus just those or today we'll just see those. Another one is the uh, completed or incomplete. So that'll show just these uh, that are checked. For sorting, let's say we want to sort by subtasks. We can just click that column and it sorts the rows by that value. But let's say if instead we wanted to maybe look first at subtasks, but in the context of assignee. So I'm going to click on assignee, and it sorted the unassigned ones and then uh, those by name. And then uh, I'm going to shift click on subtasks to uh, sort within assignee. And I'll do descending. You can click again to do descending on any of these. And now it'll be. Uh, by assignee and then by subtask descending. And if you click a third time, it'll remove that column from the sort. And so that's a secondary sort, but you can also click on more than uh, just that one. You can have a tertiary and so on uh, sort. If we go back to the project, we can remember that there were these uh, sections of the phases. Um, we can sort by those two, and those work seamlessly uh, both pre and post Asana's section migration, and also for separators, which are sections that you add to my tasks or subtasks, as we'll see in a second. There are actually more columns available than what we've seen so far, and you can toggle any one of them on and off. So um, maybe if I toggle off and on the subtasks, why don't we add a few uh, here? It can add all three dates that we don't normally see, and even followers column that'll show you know multiple followers of of tasks. Let's head over to my tasks. You can see we've got a few unassigned uh, tasks, and then some subsections here in in today, um, midday and evening. So let's use Asana to go to see these my task results and see what those look like. You can see these newly assigned tasks show up here and then also the section is shown for the others. And one other thing we saw these uh, descriptions here that you can hover over. You can also actually see the entire description in line if you'd like. Those might get kind of long, but that's an option for you if, if they tend to not be too long or you don't mind. Let's look at one more kind of selection uh, subtasks. So I've got 
um, these subtasks selected here. And Asana to go understands that if you've selected those, that it should it should use the subtask mode. So we'll choose those and then see what those look like. And those show their parent task here. And otherwise, the same basic information that we see, uh, you know, in the other cases. And in this case, the section column shows the subsections that are uh, that are present in order. There's also a copy to clipboard, uh, creating files for CSV in Excel, or printing uh, to the printer or PDF. Those are pretty much self-explanatory. And then uh, remember that you can also uh, duplicate that format and then create a custom one for yourself. There's help for doing that, and I'm also available to make uh, custom formats. All right, so let's recap. This is an interactive, highly flexible tabular view with nearly all the content of Asana's detail pane. There are 20 columns that you can hide and show on the fly. Do multi-column sorting, ascending or descending. Search and filter as you type. And you can start by doing multiple selection in any of these views. And you can imagine how powerful the search results view is where you can bring in a bunch of disparate tasks and then make sense of them in this interactive view. Also works from subtasks as we saw, get these different forms of output, and you can customize these too. And the benefits are really, it's a solution for various uh, often mentioned Asana pain points or gaps. There's not going to be any truncated task names or project or tag pills in the list view or custom field values, which can tend to happen in the Asana display. You can instantly tailor your view by filtering down your rows and choosing just the columns that you want. And you can see all the task descriptions in full or just with an inline tooltip, uh, both in line. You can view and sort by your tasks custom fields, even for my task, which is a much requested feature. And you can sort by project sections, my task sections, or subtask sections as well. And that's it. Thanks very much.